Just look at this rainbow turd and his hairy butt. When he poops, this guy's butt shakes so funny, it's like he's straining really hard to do it. What? The fish that ate the fish that ate the fish? Lord, do you see what vile things fly out of them? This girl wants to increase her size. I think we did it wrong, but it is not important. The main thing yeah. is that she is happy. Hello everyone, friends. And no matter how happy I am about this, today we are playing a game in which you need to pull out poop. Looks like this guy is stuck in the desert and needs moisture. What lets help him? It's good that this game starts with some kind of adequate task. I'm tired of squeezing pimples and taking out poop every time. Don't be such a boring regatta. This game is pretty fun. In addition to moments with pimples and poop, there are also good tasks like what we are doing now. We helped this guy, and now he will definitely survive. This is great news. I'm very happy about this. Well, now, let's move on to another task. We need to help the pirate there open the treasure. I didn't think we'd have to dig it up. Well, let's try to do this as soon as possible. So far, I don't see any treasure among this dirt. And here is the chest. Well, now we need to figure out how we can open it. I still can't understand what we need to do. Why do we need this stone? Maybe we need to fill this hole? Great! Yes, this is what needed to be done. Okay, now this pirate has hidden the treasure and he will definitely not tell anyone where it is. And we move on to the next task. What? The fish that ate the fish that ate the fish? I understand we need to get the smallest fish of them all. I think it will be quite difficult, but let's try to do it. Oh, we hooked a fish! This hook doesn't help us in any way, so let's just get this fish ourselves. And now we need to get a little fish. Great! We got through it! Well, now all the fish are free, but they are still hungry. Why are they angry at that big brown fish? I can't understand this. Now let's do the next task. It really was quite strange. Oh, just look. This girl wants to increase her size. Um, I won't say that she wants to increase her size so as not to traumatize the psyche of our little subscribers. I still can't understand that she wants to make herself bigger. It's like it's trying to put contact lenses in its eyes. But why then were we pointed to her t-shirt? Something is clearly not right here. I think we did it wrong, but it is not important. The main thing yeah. is that she is happy. Our task is completed and we can finally move on to the next task. This guy wants to beat up the kangaroo? But why does he want to do this? Wait, points us to her bag? What? Should we take her baby out of her pouch and give it to this guy? This task is too cruel. I would never do this in my life. This guy chose the most cruel way to influence his opponent. It seems to me that it is inhumane to put pressure on the enemy with the help of his children. He shouldn't have done that. This is too cruel. I hope that someday the kangaroo will take revenge on him and steal his child from him in the same way. Well, let's leave these two alone and move on to the next task in this game. I think this cow has something stuck in her butt and we need to help get it out. Oh, I think she ate too many leaves that were not digested in her stomach, and now we need to clean out her intestines so that she feels good. It's very strange that the cow's stomach couldn't digest the grass. This is their main diet. Well, it doesn't matter. The main thing is that we helped her. Just look how happy she is. I would like everyone we helped to be as happy as she is. Oh, no. Just don't say that now we have to squeeze pimples. Yes, this is exactly this task. Well, let's help this girl make her skin beautiful. In fact, pimples should not be squeezed. They should disappear from your skin naturally. When people squeeze pimples, they can cause an infection or damage the skin so that it never recovers. We only have one nasty pimple left to squeeze. Lord, do you see what vile things fly out of them? Well, the main thing is that we help this girl. And I hope that we won't see any more tasks with acne today. I can't believe you actually said that. Usually you really liked all the tasks with all sorts of nasty things. This crazy guy was going to eat five hot chili peppers at once. I think his stomach will turn into boiling lava. I think it's hotter than KFC wings. He has already eaten four peppers and not a single muscle on his face has moved. This guy's really flint. He seems to really like the spiciness of this dish and is very happy with what he ate. He is so happy because he still has no idea what awaits him when all this food is digested. But it seems to me that these are the consequences of those same peppers. Well, Pomni, these are your favorite tasks. Just look at this rainbow turd and his hairy butt. This looks very funny. When he poops, this guy's butt shakes so funny, it's like he's straining really hard to do it. Oh my god. I really hope that someday we will stop playing these disgusting games and we'll only play something really interesting and fun. Now we need to get the leeches out of this guy's hand. Is it just me? Or have the nasty task started again? Those leeches took a lot of this guy's blood. I hope he doesn't have any health problems after this. 
It seems to me that these bites may have consequences. In fact, in some countries, leeches are used to suck bad blood out of the body because they prefer to drink it. So I think you shouldn't worry about this guy's health. He was simply given health procedures. But mosquitoes, on the contrary, can be breeding grounds for infection because they can drink infected blood before and then bite you and transfer this infection to you. Now we need to help this girl. She definitely has some problems while she's in the shower. Oh, this is another task in which we do some strange things. What did we do? I cannot understand. Someday we will find out what it really was. For now, let's just move on to the next task. Now we need to help this girl fix her car. I can't figure out what this part actually is, but it's definitely some kind of mechanical thing that girls don't understand. Well, the main thing is to make this car move so that this girl can finally go about her business. Oh no, this guy got his heart broken. We need to help him deal with his heartache. Let's quickly help him get rid of unnecessary memories so that he can concentrate on the one and only love of his life. He was in love with two other girls at once besides the one who was still in his heart. It's really quite strange. It seems to me that this guy has problems not with his heart, but with his head. But now he has the one and only one. Look, the next guy wants to propose to his girlfriend. We need to help him place the ring on her finger. This guy has a really funny hairstyle. I hope this doesn't influence her decision. So let's choose which finger we will place this ring on. I actually don't really remember which finger this ring is supposed to be on. Do you really not see the lines around your finger where you need to put this ring? Guys, don't be so stupid. You have already tried all the fingers except the one you need. Thanks for the tip. I didn't notice this line at all. Well, now they are happy. Husband and wife. Just look at this guy eating candy right out of the wrapper. Does he love sweets that much? One day, my cat ate a sausage straight with the wrapper, and then she ran around with the cellophane wrapper sticking out of her butt. And my cat was once playing with a balloon that had a ribbon attached to it. After he burst the balloon, he started chewing the tape, swallowed it, and then it stuck out of his butt. I absolutely don't understand why you are telling these stories now. Okay, doesn't matter. The main thing is that we helped this strange guy. Let's move on to the next task. What awaits us next? What awaits us next is the suffering of this game. And if you're talking about the level, then some idiot swallowed the fish skeleton again. How can this even be done? He was lucky that this skeleton came out so easily, and it did not cling to the walls of his esophagus. Well, great. We helped this guy, and let's move on to the next task. I wonder what will happen there. Looks like this guy has some stomach problems. Let's take a closer look. Oh no, he was hit by a bullet. You need to get it out with these tweezers. God, how disgusting this is. Either the tweezers are too small, or the bullet is too big. It fits into the hole in his skin too easily. Well, the main thing is that we helped this guy, and now we can move on to the next level. I hope he will be healthy now. What's going on here? Did she vacuum the cat directly into the vacuum cleaner, and now we need to get him out of there? It seems to me that there are some problems with the size here too. Either this cat is too small, or she has a giant vacuum cleaner. Yes, this cat really looks tiny compared to this vacuum cleaner. Well, it's quite difficult to get it out of there. He keeps getting stuck inside that pipe. You need to be as careful as possible and not harm him. Great! We're almost there! Just a little left. We're almost out of this vacuum cleaner. Great! Now his owner will be happy and the cat will return to her. Well, let's now move on to the next task. Oh no, this bear is stuck in a trap. He is crying. I'm so sorry for this bear. We urgently need to help him. Well, I hope we can help this bear and he will roam joyfully through his forest again. Let's open this trap and free his leg as soon as possible. This trap is so gigantic. No wonder this bear was crying because he was stuck in it. He really looks like he can break even a bear's bones. This damn trap doesn't want to come off. Great, we got it done. Now the bear will be happy. But of course, he needs a little time to recover. Oh no, they put him in a cast and now he won't be able to walk for some time. What now? Let's help this guy. Looks like he wants a hairstyle like his favorite football player. This guy has very long hair and he wants a short haircut. Well, let's help him with this. I'm so sorry to shave off his long hair. Well, look, I think we can leave him with this hairstyle and he will look like my grandfather. It seems to me that he will very much regret in the future the choice of his hairstyle. But since he asked, we will definitely do it. Okay, we made this guy completely bald. Let's see what happens now. It seems to me that he is very happy with his new hairstyle, 
but it doesn't suit him very well. Okay, let's move on to the next level. Oh no, this guy's toilet is clogged and now we need to help him clean it out. I wonder what could be stuck in this toilet that prevents the water from leaving. That was a pretty stupid question. Of course there was poop stuck in there. I think they need to be moved a little in the other direction. No one cleans the poop out of the toilet. I can't believe we do this every time. We really go into this game, squeeze out pimples, push poop somewhere, and are you all really happy with it? I can't say that I'm happy, but our viewers really like this game, and that's why we have to film it. Oh my god, just look. This poop is stuck in the toilet. Looks like there's too much water in there. It doesn't go through this pipe. I remember that at the very beginning of the level, a plunger was shown. Maybe this guy should have given it to us so we could unclog this toilet. This turd just doesn't want to go down through that water. We really need some kind of tool to push it through. She just doesn't want to go through this water, and unfortunately the water can't be pushed through. Maybe he needs to press the drain button because we can't do it. Oh my god, it's really very difficult. Maybe we should skip this level or try to go through it again. This really seems impossible to me. We won't skip this level because it's for weaklings. Let's just try to pull it straight down with all our might and maybe we'll get something done. It didn't go all the way, but the game counted us a victory. Great. I think this guy will still be able to wash it off completely. Now let's move on to the next task. Looks like this guy dropped his mouse container. Now he needs to put them all back together. It's strange that these mice don't move or run away from us. It's like they just froze. It's good that they don't run away, because then this task would become almost impossible for us. And now we can just calmly collect all these mice in a container, and we won't worry about them jumping out or running away. All that remains is to place this mouse and another one in the container. Let's get this over with as quickly as possible and move on to the next task. I really want to see what awaits us next. Judging by the fact that these mice do not move at all, it seems to me that they are not very alive. Yes, it seems that since they smell disgusting, it means they really don't live anymore. Well, let's not think about it, but let's help this kid with his problem. I think he has a fever. He is crying. We need to help him get better. Okay, we need to put this pill directly into his mouth and help him drink it down. Why is she so bouncy? Well, there's a tablet inside and now let's fill it with water. Oh my god! Is this supposed to be pressure from a fire hydrant? This is not the end of this task! Now we need to help these microbes defeat the virus inside it. Well, let's put these microbes inside so that the baby is healthy and happy. Well, there's one more microbe left and... Great. He's inside this guy's body. Now he sleeps peacefully and doesn't cry. Nothing bothers him. Okay, let's move on to the next task. I hope we don't have to help them have a baby this time. Great! This time we need to help Cupid get straight into this girl's heart. Well, this building was pretty easy, and now let's quickly move on to the next one. I'm very interested in what awaits us next. Look, it's the platypus from the cartoon. I remember watching this cartoon when I was a child. Well, we need to help him get into the secret tunnel through the trash can. Okay, let's do this. It seems to me that he is a little unable to fit into this tunnel. I try to pull him down with all my strength, but he absolutely does not want to climb there. Maybe it needs to be pushed there somehow using this lid. I think there is some kind of error going on. We're really trying to shove it right into that trash can. We can't do anything. I can't understand what we're doing wrong. Maybe we can skip this level after all. No, guys. We definitely don't need to skip this level. We definitely have to come up with something that will help us pass this level. Maybe let's try closing this trash can with a lid. Maybe he just doesn't want to climb into this bucket because he's afraid that someone will notice him. Well, that sounds pretty logical. Great. It really helped us pass this level. Well, now we need to get him to the elevator. Great, we passed this level. This was the most difficult level of all today. In the last level for today, we need to help the fish get out of this cat. I hope we end up on the wrong side from where all the food usually comes out. Oh my God, this method of extracting fish from a cat seems very sadistic to me. We need to fill this cat with water so that the fish can swim up from it. This is very cruel. Come on, fish, swim out of it, great! Look, she makes her way straight up through the water from his stomach. Great, we help this fish. Great, let's now move on to the next task. I really hope that in the near future, we will go through all these games completely and we simply won't be left with anything to play and we'll go on playing Minecraft or Roblox. I thought we would now need to help the chicken lay eggs as it was in previous games, but now we just help her poop. As far as I know chickens, the digestion process is a little different. 
but we are here in any case to help them. So we coped with this task. Just look! This guy is going to propose to this girl! Great! Let's help him put the ring on her finger! But why is she already wearing some other ring on this hand? It is very strange. Let's leave this ring on the other finger. I don't think she wants to just throw it away. She has some strange fingers. The ring gets stuck among them. Okay, well, we managed to put it on, and now let's put on the most important ring. Just look how happy they are. I hope they have a further good family life ahead. Well, let's move on to the next task. This guy objectively somehow angered these bees, and they got right in his face. Well, okay, let's get those bees out of his face. But I hope that he will no longer disturb the hives. Great! We did it! Just look! They covered his entire face except his eyes. Well, now he will know for sure that he shouldn't play with bees. Well, let's see what awaits us next. This girl has some problems in her head. Oh my god, she has lice. Well, let's help her and get them out of her head. They cling to her skin so tightly that when we take them out, she bleeds from her head. These insects are so annoying. Well, the last one remains, and now we need to move it to this container. Great, we did it. Just look how happy this girl is now. Yes, she looks very happy. Now let's finally move on to the next task. I really hope there won't be anything nasty there. Oh no! This guy was drowning and now his lungs are filled with water! We urgently need to help him! Someone give him CPR! I think we can manage without it. We just need to press down on his chest with both hands to get the water out. I think this should work. Great! This guy is saved and will live! How good it is that we were nearby at this moment. Well, now let's help these young people kiss each other. Are they so stupid that they need help kissing? I don't understand anything. What is happening in this picture? Is this some kind of big pink maze for this white creature, or what is it even? I think their kiss went a little wrong! I don't even understand what is shown here. How does this relate to kissing? Guys, it seems to me that you are still too young to understand what is happening here! Well, someday I'll tell you. But for now, just try to complete this level to the end. Well, great! We did it! And now they will have a child! I really don't think they're very happy about it. What? Child? What does this have to do with the child, anyway? It was just a pink, incomprehensible labyrinth. Well, apparently I don't know how it all works. Okay, let's just get this love thing out of the way, and now we need to clean this guy's mouth. Oh my god, I think he hasn't brushed his teeth since he was born. He has so much incomprehensible nonsense stuck between his teeth. Didn't this really cause him discomfort and he decided to brush his teeth only when he wanted to talk to the girl? Is it really just the smell that bothers him? His teeth are so yellow, I didn't think they could be such a nasty color. Have you even seen what color my teeth are? This is taking into account the fact that I don't even have lips. Well, now this red-haired guy can communicate with this girl and not worry about the bad smell coming from his mouth. Okay, now let's help this crow. This task is very incomprehensible. Do we need to put stones in this bag so that the crow can drink water? Why can't she just turn this bag over? I do not understand anything. Maybe because the crow has no hands and will have to turn this bag over with its beak? And if she turns it over with her beak, she will not be able to drink with the same beak. Okay, that sounds pretty logical. Well, this crow is pretty smart since she decided to use this method to get to the water. Okay now, let's help this woman put an IV on this old man. This woman really looks like she can't do it. But why does she work here? Who wears red high heels to work as a medic anyway? This is very inconvenient. And if she suddenly needs to run somewhere quickly, what will she do? Yes, this is really illogical. It seems to me that it is much more convenient to go to work as a medic in some crocs. It seems to me that now is exactly the situation where she will have to run quickly. Well, I hope that now this woman will be fired and she will no longer treat anyone. Okay, let's move on to the next task and now we need to help this snail. Oh my god, some rainbow worms have settled in his eyes! This is very disgusting! How did he even see anything with those worms in his eyes? I hope that when we help him this situation will not happen again in his life. The last worm remains and... Great, we got it done! Just look how cute this snail is winking at us! Well, let's now move on to the next task and see what we need to do there. This guy is very cold and he is shaking very much! Looks like his nose is stuffy! Well, as I understand it, we need to clear his airways! I wouldn't want to pick his nose. Maybe we can shove this whole can right up his nose? Okay, this won't help us at all. Well, let's just get those boogers out of his nose now. I wonder what kind of air he breathed that his nose boogers became rainbow colored. I'd like to blow my nose with rainbow boogers too.
It seems to me that I have never in my life heard a more idiotic desire than yours. Well, okay, let's help this guy. I think his belly button is very inflamed. Oh my god, maggots have settled in his navel. God, this is so disgusting. How did they even get there? I thought there wouldn't be such nasty tasks in this game. Well, okay, let's just help him and get all these maggots out of his navel so they don't bother him. Wait, what? The task is over? But we haven't gotten all the maggots yet. Will he really be fine anyway? This guy is very nasty. It looks like everything that's left there will come out of him, along with this pus that's gushing out of his belly button. Well, okay. It's his business. Let's move on to the next task. Did this guy actually run to the bathroom with a burger in his mouth? Is he gonna eat while sitting on the toilet? I think only idiots do that. This is very disgusting. It seems to me that he has already eaten one of this burgers and we will help him free his stomach from it right now. Well, this guy has very fast digestion. Apparently, this guy is very huge since he was able to eat a burger and keep it completely intact. He didn't even chew it like the rest of the food. Well, maybe that's why he has a stomach problem. Well, we helped this guy and now he feels relieved. Great, let's move on to the next task. Oh no, this snake wants to steal eggs from the nest. We need to prevent this urgently, okay? They offer us to hide the eggs inside a tree. I hope these eggs don't break while we're hiding them. This wood looks too soft, basically like eggs. Are they made of jelly? Okay, okay, it doesn't matter. The main thing now is to hide the eggs so that the snake cannot steal them. Great, one egg is already inside. Now we need to hide the second one. It's good that there is no timer in this because if there was one, we would be in a very big hurry and perhaps it would interfere with us. It's so hard to get through there. Why is this wood soft anyway? Maybe it got wet during the rain? But it seems to me that even if it were like that, it wouldn't get so wet. Well, the second egg is in place. Only one left. She also has quite a problem climbing. Damn, why did they even make this task so difficult? It would be possible to come up with some wider tunnel for these eggs. In general, there are very rarely tunnels like these in a tree. Great! We finally did it. I thought it would take forever. Just look at this snake. She climbed this tree for so long to steal the eggs, and now they are gone. Great. Now she will have to look for food elsewhere. Well, now we need to free this guy's butt from the teeth of this dog. This dog has some very crooked teeth and eyes looking in different directions. I think this is a sign of rabies. This guy needs to get checked out by a doctor ASAP. Just look how swollen this girl's cheek is. She has problems with her tooth. Well, let's help get this bad tooth out of her mouth. Great! We administered the painkiller and now we just take out this tooth. Great! The girl is now healthy and can enjoy life. Oh no, God! They tore the hangnail right down to my hand! Well, look, she's going to poop right in the pool. I think he's very happy about what happened. Um, no wait, what's happening? Do we need to suck the blood out of the mosquito? Please, like, if you have ever stepped on Legos... It seems to me that only mentally ill people and a bubble can enjoy this game. Wait, Kingler, did you just try to insult me? I still don't be offended by you, buddy. I told you he's mentally unstable. Hello, everyone, guys, and welcome again to my favorite game. I'm pretty tired of this game. Wait, what are we doing now? It's like Poison Ivy. Yes, it looks like this is him. Wait, did Poison Ivy call us? I thought this girl called us and asked for help. Do you even understand that we are now helping Poison Ivy to dig into this girl's body? Um, she seems to like it. Okay, okay, we helped her. Let's move on to the next task. It looks like this cow didn't really like the hay she just ate. Okay, let's help her get him back. I think her digestive system is positioned rather strangely, or is it just that she sat in this position? Okay, be that as it may, we still need to get this hay out of her stomach. Great, we almost got it. Cool, we did it. Looks like the cow was very happy. I hope now she will give great milk. But what do we need to do here? Take it away? But what do we need to remove? Wait, don't tell me that... Oh no, just not this. It even looks dangerous. Oh no, God! They tore the hangnail right down to my hand. For what? Why did she have to do this? What's going on in this game? Nothing surprising. This is just Pomni's favorite game and Bubba Look. She's going to poop right in the pool. Oh my god, are we really going to help her do this? I feel sorry for the guy who sits next to her in this pool. This turd looks so cute. It seems that she cannot even cause any discomfort. But either way, it's poop and it's going to stink. So I wouldn't want anyone to poop in the pool with me. Great! We did it! Sorry, pool guy. We didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. I think he's very happy about what happened. Okay, let's move on to the next task. This guy's feet stink. Buddy, you need to wash your feet every day. Oh my god. 
He has worms between his toes. God, where did you have to go for this to happen? I don't even want to know what needs to be done to make this happen to your legs, okay? Let's just help this guy and move on to the next task. I hope it's less disgusting. The last worm and... Yes! We did it! Just look at this guy! He is very happy. But why is he pointing his finger at us? He's probably pointing to those who helped him. Cool. Let's see what awaits us next. Now we need to get all the garbage out of her ear. Wait, how did the cockroach get there? Oh, just look, she's got germs in there. The same ones that were in the nose of the guy whose snot we sucked out. Yes. It looks like this girl has absolutely no ear hygiene, and because of this, she has bugs in her ear. Well, the main thing is that we were able to help her, and it seems to me that she is now very happy. I hope in the next task, we will also do something useful. Look, a mosquito landed on this guy's hand. Do we need to kill him? Um, no, wait. What's happening? Do we need to suck the blood out of the mosquito? This is already beyond adequate. I can't understand what's going on in this game. Why do we have to suck the blood out of the mosquito? He may have unhealthy infected blood. This is absolutely abnormal. This shouldn't happen. It really looks very strange. It seems to me that the creator of this game has big problems in his head. He definitely needs to go get checked by a psychologist. How could anyone even think of it to such a level? I'm very interested in what will happen when we pump all the blood from the mosquito into this guy's body. How will this help him? Why is he even doing this? And for what purpose? Okay, no matter how illogical it may seem, you still need to help this guy. We have already completed more than half of the necessary actions. Now the main thing is just to help him finish it to the end and finally move on to the next task. Maybe there is some kind of superpower in the blood of this mosquito that will help this guy become much stronger than he was before. That's the only logical reason he do this. It seems to me that this is the most idiotic excuse for his actions of all. There is nothing logical about drinking blood from a mosquito. I totally agree with Jax. It seems to me that the only stupid thing about this task was where we had to get the chicken out of the chicken in parts. Wait, was she right? This guy really has superpowers. Oh my god, how stupid everything is in this game. I think the only way to get super strength is to eat healthy. But judging by what this guy eats, he is either very poor or very stupid. Who eats fish scraps anyway? Just look at this carrot. She's absolutely dirty. How can you even eat this? This is disgusting. This carrot is covered in sand. This sand will remain in his stomach. Doesn't it bother you that he eats the food whole? This carrot is not cut, just like an apple. By the way, there is a worm in this apple. Why didn't he cut the broccoli? Guys, you continue to do what you shouldn't do. Namely, look for logic in this game. There is absolutely no logic in this game. So just play and enjoy the process, because this game is very interesting. Interesting? Did you really mean to use that word here? This game is disgusting. There is nothing interesting in it. We are level level. We just help people poop, squeeze out pimples, and do other disgusting things. Guys, don't be such sissies. This game allows you to do something that you will definitely never do in real life. How do you imagine the moment when you help a guy swallow a fish fly whole? In real life? I would never want to do something like that. I think the game should help you do what you want, but can't in real life. Okay, let's just finish this level and move on to the next one. I hope it will be more interesting. Is this guy really happy after what he ate? I think he will realize the consequences of this food a little later. Well, in this level, we need to help this cow. Wait, a cow again? I don't even want to find out how it got inside her udder. What is this anyway? Germs again? Why are they so gigantic? But this situation seems familiar to everyone. Please like if you have ever stepped on Lego scattered on the floor. This is very painful. No more painful, of course, than tearing off a hangnail. But nevertheless, it's just a terrible feeling. They are so hard to get out of your feet. Everything is just like in real life. Finally, at least one believable level of life in this game. I thought that the creators of this game were not capable of something like this. Wow! I think these Lego pieces were so huge. Now let's move on to the next level and help... Um... What's even going on here? Need to help this dragonfly get into this guy's belly button? But why? Did he swim faster because of this? He... Um... Wait, 
I don't even understand what happened just now. Okay, I'm back to working on more logic in this game. Let's just take it to the next level. Okay, now we need to help clean this guy's eyes. Why do we need- Oh my god. Is he really going to eat this? Wait, why is that right inside his eye socket? Where is his eye? What is going on? It's pretty funny. This has never happened before in this game. Yes, it's really a little strange that he eats these things, but he seems to like it. Well, let's just help him finally clear his eye. If you continue to enjoy this game, one day I will come to your room at night and quietly cut your internet cable so that you will never have access to the internet again. It seems to me that only mentally ill people and a bubble can enjoy this game. Although I think it's the same thing. See, Pink Turd, it's so funny. They worked really hard to make it pink and shiny. We need to throw it in the toilet. Wait, Kingler, did you just try to insult me? Okay, even if you tried to do it, I still don't be offended by you, buddy. I told you he's mentally unstable. Okay, the main thing is that we completed this task and now we need to, um, squeeze the pimples again? Oh my God, she has so many of them. Why does she do this with some strange stick? It's definitely not meant for that. Oh my God, this is so disgusting. I'm about to throw up. Why is green pus coming out of her pimples? Wait, did you see this? She has a pimple and a cockroach ran out. There's definitely something wrong with her health. And she also has yellow broken teeth. This girl needs to get checked out by a doctor ASAP. I think she has a serious problem. Okay, now we will do what we do every time after this game. Namely, vomit. This guy's vomit is so viscous. Did he eat gelatin before? We did it, and now this guy is very happy. Just look at his face. Relieved, buddy. Um, picking this guy's nose? This is very, very strange. I don't understand why this gives me pleasure. Don't you think it's strange that there are too many foreign objects in his nose? What's even weirder is that this cotton swab only has cotton on one of its ends. Who makes such weird cotton buds anyway? No, guys. The weirdest thing is that we have to put all these objects in his mouth. Ugh, this guy is very nasty. Okay, we kind of helped this guy. What awaits us now? Um, the cat who ate the mouse? And what should we do with it? Oh, free the mouse? No, the logic of this game will not allow her to get out just like that. He'll probably puke on her. Oh, okay, no. I was right. Did this idiot drop his phone in the toilet with poop? How can you be so inattentive? The situations in this game are always kind of fantastic. Uh, he also touched his own poop with his hand. I don't think this phone was worth it. Would you seriously be willing to drown your phone if you just dropped it in the toilet? What if it was an iPhone 15 Pro Max? Would you say, okay, Mr. Toilet, take my phone. I don't need it anymore. No, I wouldn't just drop my phone in the toilet. I'm not as hands-on as he is. As a last resort, I would get him with my tongue, hee hee hee. You Bubble, you're even more disgusting than this game, I'm sure. Damn, I just realized I haven't seen any more disgusting games than this one. No, buddy. <sighs> the most disgusting game I ever played is Scorn. Scorn is a game set in a dark, twisted, and truly disgusting world. The game features a unique aesthetic and atmosphere, with eerie and grotesque imagery depicting a bleak and apocalyptic future. You crazy? I'm 32 years old. What children's games? Maybe I should actually go to the sandbox and stack cubes with pyramids there? I'll play anything, at least in Postal 2. Posted 2? This is the first time I've heard about this game. What should you do with it? And why did the bubble focus on her? Is it more disgusting than all the other games? Playing Postal 2 is definitely an experience. This game has no filter and is as twisted as it gets. The game is filled with dark, violent, and obscene humor. You play as a deranged dude who goes around killing people and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. It's like a simulation of madness and a virtual playground for your darkest urges. If you want to play as a mentally ill murderer and just blow off steam and do crazy things, this is the game for you. One time when I was playing Postal 2, I just finished beating up the local police chief and was making my escape when I realized I needed to take a piss from all the energy drinks I drank. So I went to a public bathroom in the middle of the square, pulled my pants down and started pissing. But as I'm finishing up, a guy walking by outside looks in through the window and makes a disgusted face. 
I started cracking up and couldn't help the piss shooting out of me as it was too funny. Damn, that's hella funny, haha. Huh? But yeah, that's definitely the kind of absurd and crazy stuff you can experience in Postal 2. It can be downright disgusting and twisted, but at the same time, it's also so utterly ridiculous and hilarious. It's a game that really pushes the boundaries of what is acceptable and conventional, and it certainly doesn't hold back when it comes to shocking and offensive behavior. That's true. It pushes the limits and doesn't hold back when it comes to all kinds of offensive and unacceptable behavior. That's why it's such a great game to play if you want to just let loose and do whatever you want without really caring about the consequences. It's a perfect game for people who want to be as crazy and outrageous as they can be without having to worry about any taboos or restrictions. Your stories about these idiotic games only discouraged me from trying to play them. Maybe we should go back to our horror games and Roblox, don't you think? Let's finish this game first. We need to brush this guy's teeth. It seems to me that he doesn't take care of his oral health at all. Wait, does he have worms living in his mouth? This guy is truly disgusting. What did you have to do with that mouth to get worms between your teeth? Maybe he really eats worms? Damn, the more I try to guess the reason for the worms in his mouth, the more disgusted I feel. Okay, we've almost got his mouth clean. It takes too long, I think. Hooray, today we will play my favorite games. Just look at these centipedes. They are so beautiful. After them, some strange yellow liquid remains in this guy's head. God, why is this so disgusting? Actually, scalopendrists do not know how to gnaw their way through. They usually live in ready-made burrows. Ugh, oh, oh my god, this is disgusting. I think I'm going to be sick soon. Just look how happy this guy is. I think we did a great job for him. This game is made for doing good things. It seems to me that this game was created to cause a gag reflex in everyone who plays it. Okay, now we need to help get the arrow out of this guy's ass. How did she even get there? It seems to me that together with the arrow, we will now get another surprise from there. I wouldn't really like to do this. I don't think it's poop. Maybe the arrow has just been there too long and it's pus or something like that. Hooray! This guy's ass is free! Good luck, buddy! Don't walk where the skeletons walk anymore! Do you think he really got shot by a Minecraft skeleton? I think it was a little different. Okay, it doesn't matter now. This guy is very afraid of crabs and we need to help him get rid of it. Oh, oh my god. How did he manage to cling so deeply to this guy? Does he have sharpened claws? It's quite difficult to get his claw out of his leg. Well, we did it. Great. Ha, look. This guy broke his head with a bat. Oh, poor kitten. Let's quickly see what happened to him. I hope we can help him and he will stop being so sad. Um, he's got fleas in his head. Perhaps this kitten walked with street cats, and they infected him with this. You damn, they are so small. Why did the creators of this game make the sound so disgusting? This sound alone makes me feel uneasy. It seems to me that there is nothing vile in this sound. It sounds like you're squeezing very thin slime. It's fun, isn't it? It seems to me that when you're picking around a cat's head, the last thing you think about is slime. Great, we helped this kitten. God, just look how cute he is. He smiles so cool. He is probably very grateful to us. Oh no, this guy got shot. Now we need to get that bullet. Chew that yellow liquid again. Was it a poisoned bullet or pus? I guess I don't even want to know what it really was. Great, this guy is saved. Well, now he has to recover in the hospital and I think this beautiful nurse will help him. Oh my god, this guy is choking! Urgently give him artificial respiration! Clear his airways! Kane, do you really care that much about this guy? Or do you just want to seem interested? To be honest, I don't care about him at all. If in reality it took us so long to save a suffocating person, he would have died a long time ago. What is this, chewing gum? Damn, how dumb do you have to be to swallow a whole piece of gum? It can mess up your intestines and lead to death. I completely agree with you. Guys, never even think about swallowing gum. This can lead to irreversible consequences. Yes, for example, you will blow a huge bubble when you poop. Okay, what do we have next? Should I give this guy an injection? It seems to me that the injections are done a little differently. At a minimum, no doctor gives you a hundred injections all over your butt. Okay, we did it. Looks like this is the guy we pulled the bullet from. He is still under the care of this beautiful nurse. Okay, what do we have next? Um, does this guy need help eating pizza? Can he handle it himself? I think this guy definitely doesn't need our help. Wait, what? Why is this slice of pizza so small? I don't understand what's going on here. Maybe this guy has turned into a giant. Or on the contrary, simply reduced this piece of pizza to an unusually small size? Okay. We'll never know for sure. 
I would love to eat pizza right now. I think this pizza is very tasty. Looks like pepperoni. Can you really think about food when you hear these sounds? After every time we play this game, I have no appetite for about two hours. Just look how happy this guy is. He looks like he hasn't eaten pizza in a week. Well, let's do the next mm. task. Um, does this matchbox have any problems? Should we just light a match? It seems to me that anyone can handle this task, even a monkey. Well, I hope there won't be any more stupid tasks like this. I'm even ready to get worms and all sorts of other nasty things, but this task was really stupid. Ooh, now we're going to pick our ears. This is my favorite task. How did this guy manage to get cockroaches into his ears? Did he sleep in the barn? Hell no. I can't look at this anymore. It seems to me as if we are in some kind of terrible dream, where we are visited by idiots who put insects into their bodies. I don't think pushing the stick that deep is a good idea. It seems to me that you can stuff these cockroaches directly into his brain, but getting them out of there will be much more difficult. This guy will definitely hear better now. Wait, do you hear that sound? It seems to me that the charging cable should not make such sounds. Yes, it sounds like it's not a cable, but a hose completely filled with some nasty thing. It seems to me that the creators of this game just love this nasty sound. Pomni. Is this really such a difficult task? I think you're taking too long to complete it. You might want to grab this connector so that it doesn't turn. This task really looks easy, but in fact, it is simply unrealistic. This cable is constantly spinning around and does not listen to you. I will do this as carefully as possible. Great, you did it. Yay! Finally, I won't hear this disgusting sound. At one point, I thought I was going to be sick. Hooray, now we will milk this cow. I just love milk and all sorts of dairy things like cheese or ice cream, or even ice cream topped with processed cheese. Would you really eat ice cream with cheese? Sometimes it seems to me that you are the most vile character on the planet that I know. Ice cream with cheese? Sounds like a burger with jam or pizza with pineapple? Wait, this really exists? Um, maybe ice cream and cheese can go together too? I think if we continue to discuss this disgusting food while we play this equally disgusting game, mm. I will lose my appetite for life. Can we stop doing this? Stop being such a sissy, Kingler. Let's better help this guy poop. By the way, his poop is also rainbow for some reason. The guys in these games are definitely eating something weird. We've already discussed enough disgusting food that I don't even want to try to guess what he ate for this. Um, result? Again, the role of an obstetrician, but for a dog? It seems to me that the situation here is similar to that of the cats from the previous video. These animals do not need obstetricians, they must cope on their own. Um, Pomni? It seems to me that you are trying to extract it in a slightly wrong way. Maybe you can try to take it out, um, let's say, from under the tail? I think this is a great idea, Regatta. I just wanted him to be born into this world in a very epic way. Well, welcome to this world, my friend. I hope you weren't too shaken up there. Whoa, why did it fly into this guy's face? Oh, no. Hello, beautiful. How are you doing? I wonder what she needs help with there. I hope she's dressed, otherwise we won't be able to put this on YouTube. I think Jax is starting to like this game already. Wait, I don't understand at all what is shown here and what needs to be done here. It's too early for you boys to understand what it is. Just extend these ribbons to those circles. I think you might have a little problem with the second ribbon. It seems to me that some kind of bug has occurred and we should re-enter this game. This ribbon is just stuck somewhere behind the scenes and I don't know how to get it out of here. This looks quite strange. It's as if some giant squid grabbed onto something during a hurricane and the wind blew it away and it fluffed up like a sail. Why did they still leave that disgusting sound here? Whatever is on the screen right now definitely can't make those nasty sounds. It sounds like you poured ketchup on a huge plate of pasta and stirred it all up. Maybe we can still free this thing? I think she got caught on some invisible thing unknown to us. Maybe if we just pull a little harder, we can get her out of there. I think the harness is just stuck in her armpit and she can't just lift her arm. I don't see any other logical explanation. Armpit? What does the armpit have to do with it? Do you understand what is drawn here? Maybe you can finally explain to us what this is. We really don't understand. Boys, it seems to me that this is a little not for you. You should become a little more mature to understand what is drawn here. Okay, okay, we re-entered the game. Now this task should be a little easier for us. I think this was the most difficult task for today. Cool, we did it! But I still didn't understand what we were doing all this time. Look, for some reason she's happy. 
It seems to me that there is some kind of universal women's secret that they don't want to tell. Don't worry, someday you will definitely find out about this, but now let's help kill this zombie. He looks pretty angry. Um, is his head made of a balloon? Why did it burst from such a small touch? I don't know, but I can see that this guy is very happy. Okay, let's see what task we will complete last for today. Oh my god, she has lice. It's just disgusting. Does she live in the forest? Thank you for watching this video to the end, friends. I hope you enjoyed this game. If so, please give it a like so we can continue to go through it. I also remind you that we read all your comments and try to play your favorite games. All you need to do is write the name of your favorite game in the comments. Also, if you are not subscribed to the channel, click on the subscribe button under this video and turn on all notifications so as not to miss a video with your favorite game. See you soon, friends. Bye bye, everyone. Wait, what are we going to do with this poor oyster now? Are we really going to break it to make a mermaid bra? It appears that this is the case. Well, now we need to get this tongue, or what is it? This is definitely something that won't keep this oyster alive. Well, after all, it was the mermaid who asked us for help, not the oyster. So we had to do it. Look, this idiot put gum in his hair. I don't know how much of an idiot you have to be to do this. Okay, let's help him too. And he also has some strange green things stuck in his head. Well, let's get them too. What is this anyway? It's like Brussels sprouts or something. How could this even get into his head? I can't even imagine how it ended up in his head, but it's definitely unnatural. Okay, the most important thing is that we managed to help him. Wait, what is he doing? Um, do we really need to stick his head right in there? What was his ultimate goal? Does he want to find something inside this ostrich? I don't understand anything, but let's assume that this is how it should be. Two ostriches turned into... camels? Okay, I'm not surprised by anything in this game anymore. His baby has snot! Let's see what we need! Suck the snot out of his nose? Um, I never want to become a mother. It seems to me that there are many other less disgusting methods in the world to free the nose. Why should we even help her? She can't do it herself? I think this is one of the most disgusting duties of a mother. Snot in your nose? Ugh, this is very disgusting. Why does his snot look like giant germs? And why are they sad? It seems to me that they will be much more comfortable in the mouth than in the baby's nose. Okay, last microbe left. I hope she spits it all out of her mouth. I wouldn't like to think about her swallowing it. Great, she didn't swallow the snot. Well, it's not as bad as we thought. Okay, now let's help this guy with Mentos and Coke. This guy drank cola, and we need to get Mentos in his mouth? Oh my god, I'm even scared to imagine the explosion that will happen in his stomach. Why do Mentos look like regular candy? Okay, I guess it's not that important. Well, let's push these candies into his stomach and see what happens. They stick to each other and to the walls of his esophagus, making them a little difficult to push through. Okay, one of the candies is almost there. Let's try to push the second one so that they fall down at the same time. Great, we're almost there. All we have to do is put in a little effort and we will finally see this fountain from his mouth. They are stuck at the very bottom. Damn, why is this so hard? Is this really how everything happens in our stomach? It seems to me that no one swallows such sweets whole. They are usually dissolved or chewed in the mouth. Okay, we did it. Wow, just look how much everything started to foam and rise up. Does he vomit rainbows? Maybe it's because we used other candies instead of Mentos? Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's help them do... Um, what are they even doing? The level is called fusion. Perhaps they will touch their fingers and turn into some kind of super mega cyber robot or something like that. Okay, the first two fingers are connected. Last pair of fingers left. Why fingers? It doesn't just look weird, it actually sounds weird. Did they touch fingers to become a dog girl? Okay, I hope there will be a little more logic in the next level. We need to lap up some strange liquid from the bowl. No, Kingler, there will be no logic in this level either. I think we should just come to terms with the lack of logic in this game. Why does he have such a giant tongue? Is this even a person or an anteater? And why does he lap from the bowl and not drink? And why does he need our help at all? I have too many questions. It seems to me that in the previous games we played there were strange animals. But in this game, there are very strange people. Yes, it does look quite strange. What's going on in this guy's head? He's really weird. I completely agree with you. Okay, this guy has filled his stomach and now... Wait, he's been drinking from the cat's water bottle this whole time? Oh my god, this guy is really an idiot. He just doesn't say that. Now we will need to shave off this gorgeous beard. This guy looks very manly with her. Looks like that's exactly what we'll have to do. Wait, why do we need to shave off his eyebrows? Um, should we make him completely bald? 
Judging by the expression on this guy's face, he himself is not happy with his future hairstyle. Well, buddy, nothing personal. We're just doing what we're asked to do. I think it would be great to leave it that way, but that would mean we wouldn't finish the game. Well, bye-bye, hairs. Hope you grow back soon. I think we found where this guy's hair went. This idiot's food is going straight to his plate. No, this hair is a different color and quite long. Ugh, oh my god. I think this is the most disgusting feeling possible. This hair went straight to his stomach. I can imagine how disgusting he feels when we take them out. Okay, we've dealt with one of them. It's quite difficult, actually. I hope this guy stops eating his hair after this. How did they even get on his plate? I think this picture will answer your question. Well, now I understand why all McDonald's workers wear these funny fishnet hats. How good it is that they do this. Just look, this guy was bitten by a mouse, although it might be a rat. Mice don't have such gigantic teeth, and mice themselves don't bite. No, it's definitely a mouse. Rats don't have such short tails. I'm really wondering why she decided to bite him. Maybe they have some personal grievances against each other? This task reminds me of something. In some game, we already helped a chicken lay eggs. Why do they all have something inside them other than eggs? This is very disgusting. Let's get this abomination out of here first, and then help this chicken get her eggs out. I hope we can do this carefully and not break anything. Oh my god, do these eggs stick to the intestines too? I think it will be very difficult to get them. By the way, when I looked at these eggs, I wanted bacon and eggs. Are you guys hungry? Bubble, are you serious? There's a huge brown poop lying next to this chicken. Have you got an appetite? I think you have some real problems, buddy. Yeah, I think Pomni and Bubble should play this game together. I'd rather play Valorant or something like that. I think it would be much cooler. Yes, I think we could shoot noobs now, rather than pull eggs out of a chicken's butt. Well, hopefully we'll get through this level quickly, and the next level will be really interesting. Great, that was the last egg. I hope this chicken is happy now. Okay, now this guy found some water in the desert. Um, what does he need help with? This is... Oh, okay. Someone pooped in this bubble tea and put cockroaches in it. Okay, let's get them. Maybe you shouldn't do this with a straw? I don't think it would be very hygienic. In principle, drinking this water is already an abomination. But I think that he has no other options in the desert. Okay, all that's left is to get the last poop and... Yes, we got it. Great, now this guy won't die of thirst. Well, now we need to help the guy who got pooped on by a bird. Wait, are we sure we need to help the guy? Um, no, we need to help this bird. Well, okay, let's help this bird. Um, poop? As far as I know, birds have the easiest digestion. I don't understand why this bird can't poop on its own. Does she have any problems? Okay, the main thing is that we can help her. Cool, she pooped. Well, now this bird is free, but the guy is definitely in trouble. I think this is the worst place for a bird to poop. I would vomit instantly. Do we need to feed this cool chicken? Okay, wait. What? Did he eat nuggets? What is this, a cannibal chicken? Hey, bro, you shouldn't eat chicken. You should be eating grains or something like that. Hmm, I have a lot of questions about this game. Here, every level is as strange as possible. Either mice that bite, or birds that poop in man's mouths, ostriches that stick their heads in their butts. This game is truly one of the strangest... No, this game is the strangest of all that I have played. I have. Are we now actually taking a chicken apart and trying to pull it out of another chicken? No, this is too much even for me. Let's skip this level and play the next one. Wow, I didn't think you had boundaries. Help, well, please. it's good that we didn't play that disgusting level. Oh, here we need to help the guy put some drops in his eyes. Great, let's help him. Um, is this glue? God, no, this game is too cool. This guy could be blind forever. Guys, never do what you see here. You may be left without vision. Did you specifically pour him a heaping amount of glue so that he would definitely have no chance of losing his sight? This is very cruel, I think. I'm already tired of playing it, but since someone likes it, then we will do it. Oh my god, are we gonna have to watch someone have poop pulled out of them for half an hour again? Damn, now we're taking porcupine quills out of his ass. Oh my god, there's pus in there. Okay, that's the last one left. It seems to me that it is necessary to disinfect his wound. Great, we've completed this level. I hope there's something even more disgusting ahead. I think it's very strange that you like what you do in this game. I think you need to get your head checked. Okay, let's see what awaits us next. Um, just plant a tree. Okay, it doesn't look so gross. I could play levels like this all day long. It is better to plant trees than to remove all sorts of abomination from the human body. That's for sure. I completely agree with Kane. It looks very nice and is very good for the environment. 
And I like nasty levels. It's a lot of fun to squeeze pimples and stuff like that. Haven't you ever watched a video where people squeeze out pimples or clean their ears with a thing with a camera? Um, it seems to me that if you purposefully watch such content on the internet, you have some problems with your head. You should definitely consult your doctor. I do this very rarely, but now I want to agree with Kingler. This game is 90% crap that no normal person should like. Everyone has their own tastes. I think you shouldn't judge a person by looking at his favorite game. Only if it's not Genshin Impact. This game has no normal fans. Haha, <laughs> yes I agree. The fans of this game are very strange. Especially those who do cosplay. I don't understand them at all. Great, in the meantime we've completed this level. Wait, what? Oh no, he planted this tree on his father's grave. It is very sad. I hope this guy is happy now. What else awaits us next? Replacement of E? Okay, this doesn't look as gross as it might seem. Yes, this is practically a medical benefit. So if anyone from our viewers wants to become a doctor, look at it more carefully. I can't do it right. Damn, this IV is uncontrollable. It's good that this happens in the game and not in real life. Otherwise, the patient would begin to doubt my competence. Yeah, you definitely shouldn't be a doctor. If a patient saw how you handle an IV, he definitely wouldn't be treated by you. Um, did we really just pump this guy full of steroids? I thought we were just helping to do some medical stuff or something like that. Using steroids is very harmful. A beautiful body is not worth damaged health. Wow, now we're just making him some Chinese noodles. There are fewer and fewer nasty levels in this game. I'm getting bored because of this. Ugh, the contents of this packet don't look like seasoning or sauce. It doesn't look appetizing at all. Usually these noodles are tasty, but I wouldn't try this one. It definitely doesn't look like tasty food, but since we've been asked to help with it, we'll do it. It's good that this is not a nasty thing like pulling worms out of your stomach or something like that. Now we need to help remove the damaged tooth from this guy's mouth. Okay, I guess this shouldn't be a difficult task. Although in real life it is really difficult and requires a lot of effort. Okay, now we need to help the little kangaroo hide from the wolf. Finally, the tasks in this game have become more enjoyable. I definitely won't miss the moments where you have to do all sorts of nasty things. But I would like to squeeze out a few more pimples or remove needles from the body. It calms me. Well, we'll make this guy a burger instead. I think this task is calming for me because I love burgers. By the way, guys, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is definitely pizza. The delicious mm -hmm. crust, savory sauce, and tasty toppings mm -hmm. all come together in a perfect harmony of flavor and texture, creating the ultimate mm -hmm. comfort food. It's one of those dishes that's so simple in its ingredients, but yet so complex in the way the flavors work together. Plus, it's so convenient and versatile, making it the perfect meal no matter the occasion. I would have to agree, pizza is probably my favorite food as well. It's such a well-rounded dish that you can pretty much find it anywhere you go, and there's so many different flavors and toppings to choose from. Plus, it's so satisfying watching the cheese melt into a delicious gooey mess. What is your favorite type of pizza? It's certainly hard to beat a classic pepperoni pizza with its savory pepperoni and rich gooey cheese, but I have a soft spot for Hawaiian pizza as well. The combination of the sweet and tangy pineapple with the saltiness of the ham and pepperoni is a delicious mix of flavors that complement each other perfectly. Also, it's just hard to resist the smell of fresh, juicy pineapple. What about you, Jax? What's your favorite type of pizza? Hawaiian is definitely up there for me. It's hard to beat that combination of savory ham, sweet and tangy pineapple, and juicy tomatoes. But I also love the classic meat lover's style. The hearty, meaty flavor of the sausage, bacon, and pepperoni is absolutely delicious. And I always love the smoky sweet taste of grilled chicken and spinach on a pizza as well. Really, is there a bad type of pizza? Okay, let's finally stop discussing food because I'm already drooling from hunger. Let's better help this tree and throw all the caterpillars off it. Yeah, it's probably for the best that we stop talking about food. Otherwise, we'll never get done with this task. Besides, we don't want to get the whole world salivating over pizza, do we? So let's focus on saving this tree and throw those pesky caterpillars right off. 
Caterpillars really irritate me because they are constantly parasitic. Some of them are even poisonous, and because of this, any caterpillars are scary to handle. But then they become beautiful butterflies that fly and pollinate flowers. Yeah, you're right. Caterpillars can definitely be irritating and often carry poison or infectious diseases that make them an unpleasant hassle to deal with. But the upside is that they do eventually turn into butterflies, which are absolutely beautiful creatures who play a crucial role in our ecosystem by pollinating flowers and feeding off nectar. So even though they can be a pain now, it's important to remember that these caterpillars will eventually become essential and beneficial butterflies later on. Great. We don't have long to complete this level. I really like that the vibe in the game has changed, and now we just help everyone with good deeds. Now we will help this guy with a broken pipe, instead of doing some nasty things. Yes, it's certainly a refreshing change of pace to be helping others instead of being so violent and brutal like we've been previously. Now we just need to clear up this block pipe, and then we'll have another level complete already. Let's get to it. Great, we did it. I hope this pipe doesn't bother this guy anymore. <laughs>